Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on this channel and thanks for tuning in again. In today's video I'd like to give you a quick little rundown and my advice on how to buy perfume online. I mainly buy fragrances online, I usually don't go to stores, only when I am in a big city where there is a, a big store that actually has some niche fragrances that I am interested in, I might go there and try some fragrances but mainly I shop online. And there are some things that I would like to share with you that can save you some money or it can actually prevent you from making decisions that you will regret afterwards. So I think the most important rule of them all is to go for samples first and not try to buy full-sized fragrances from the start if you don't know what they are going to smell like. And this becomes especially important when you get into the whole niche fragrance world because honestly you will encounter a lot of fragrances that are different than what you are used to um, depending on the types of ingredients that are used, for example depending on the type of oud uh, that will be processed in the fragrance itself, you will get drastic differences between different fragrances and also uh, you will definitely encounter one or two very very weird and strange fragrances. So it's really really important to sample before you buy the actual fragrance itself. As I said this is not as important if we are talking about designer fragrances because they typically are not as expensive and you can get 30 to 50 milliliter bottles for a decent price so you won't lose that much money plus you will also be able to resell them for example via ebay but if we are talking about niche fragrances this becomes really important so if there is one piece of advice that you should take from this video it is to always sample your fragrances if possible with most brands if you are close to the source you will actually be able to order samples from the brands themselves for example here i have some sample of fragrance Dubois who are from Paris I think and the shipment came from Switzerland so that's pretty close it's still inside Europe and the shipping didn't take as long and I got seven samples of their Privé line seven two milliliter samples of their Privé line for around 40 euros that's I think 50 55 dollars including shipping so that's really cheap for high quality oud fragrances and just to give you some rough uh, some rough numbers to estimate how much you will pay for a sample. Now the next two points are actually linked to the first one so if you listen to that you probably won't have any issues with points two and three but the second thing that I wanted to talk about are uh, recommendations of fragrances or fragrance reviews on YouTube and on Fragrantica and the general issue here is that you probably or you you the chances are there that you won't like a fragrance that is recommended by a person that you like or that you find has a good taste in fragrances in general and the overall rule is if someone recommends 10 fragrances to you and 9 you also find amazing that doesn't mean that the 10th one is also going to be great and I have a really nice example here because I really like to watch Jeremy Fragrances reviews of different scents, probably like many of you guys as well. And he recommended a certain fragrance in a couple of different videos, which is Parfums de Marley Layton. Obviously, I bought a sample of this to try it out for myself, and I really, really didn't like it at all. Although there are five or six scents that I found through Jeremy and that I bought and that I was very, very happy with and still am but Parfums de Marley Layton is overly sweet it's it transitions through top middle and base notes really quickly ends up with a simple vanilla note in my opinion and that's why I don't really like it that much and if I had listened to Jeremy and had bought the full bottle uh, right from the start I would probably have been very frustrated because this is actually quite an expensive fragrance. Point number three is about so-called flankers of different fragrances. That means intense, absolute, aqua or maybe even other name variations of a certain fragrance. 
And I can tell you that those flankers sometimes are similar to the original versions, but they not always are. And you should be very, very careful. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the exact same scent DNA or actually remotely related to the original fragrance. A great example of this is Tom Ford Oud Wood because I actually sampled Tom Ford Oud Wood Intense as well and Oud Wood Intense doesn't have the slightest thing in common with Oud Wood because this actually is an honest and real and authentic oud fragrance. It smells more in the direction of a tar, tar-like and cypress, woody-like thing. It's really, really strong. It's really not mass appealing, I would say. And if you compare it to the original oud wood, which was kind of a smooth oud and very soft oud fragrance, quite mass appealing. If you were to think that this is just a more intense version than this one, you are completely wrong because this is actually an entirely different fragrance. Another example, Gentleman Only Givenchy Absolute. This is one that I obviously bought the full bottle of and I really was shocked that it's so different than the Givenchy Gentleman Only uh, non-absolute version, so the non-EDP EDT version because the EDT version was, was a transparent, slightly sweet, maybe not gentlemanish uh, perfume that I really liked and I really enjoyed. And this one is like the first one, but on steroids. So it's quite harsh, it's sharp, it's intensely vanilla-like, and it's more of a fall and winter fragrance. And I still have to decide if I will actually wear this or not. I don't know if you can see uh, how much I have Put a dent in this but it's really not that much i have used this maybe about 10 times or so since buying it which was six months ago so i can definitely tell you that you should be careful and as i said in point number one sample every every fragrance that you want to try even if it carries the same name or some variation of a fragrance that you own and that you like. Okay, so point number four and five are about platforms like eBay, where you can buy secondhand fragrances, pre-owned fragrances, or in general fragrances at very special rates. Now, point number four is that you should be very, very careful if you decide to buy a fragrance on one of those platforms because there are a lot of fakes, especially if we are talking about the likes of Creed Aventus. There are a lot of fakes and you can't always decide by looking at the picture of the fragrance if this is a fake or not. I've had the case where I bought a certain fragrance, for example Creed Aventus, I've actually had that happen to me. And I bought it and it looked fine from the pictures. I got it and it was obvious that it was a very cheap fake. It didn't smell like Aventus at all. And I basically was about to lose some money. And if I hadn't bought via PayPal, I would probably have lost a lot of money uh, by, by buying from one of those platforms. So you should be very careful. The service is also not always the same as with the bigger sellers like Notino um, because you sometimes have to write eBayers and tell them, hey, didn't you want to send me the package? And sometimes they have crazy long, crazy long delivery times and it's really not always that much fun. However, point number five is that you will sometimes find really special deals on those platforms. For example, if we are talking about sample fragrances, so bottles that have been used as samples, bottles without the original packaging or with a damaged um, flask or anything like that. For example, I just recently bought Bond Number no. 9's New York Amber, which retails for about 380 euros in the 100 milliliter bottle. And I got this for 90 euros, including shipping. So it's an insanely cheap price and it's a legit bottle of this. I also own Bond Number no. 9's New York Musk and I can verify that it's um, a, a legit fragrance. But here you have the cap missing and it came without the original packaging, but it is almost full and it's a great scent, it's an original scent and I got it for a fraction of the original price. So if you want to, you should definitely keep an eye 
on those platforms as well. If you can legitimate the authenticity of that fragrance, you can make some really, really nice deals and I have done so in the past, but you should, however, be very careful because the amount of plagiarism and, and faking and the quality of the fakes is really crazy and I hadn't expected that to be the case. So that's about it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed the advice and that you can maybe use it if you want to get into the whole fragrance world. I know that it can sometimes be very tough to resist the urge of buying a fragrance if you see it. Um, especially with the whole reviewer scene that is going on, especially in the English speaking realms of this world. But you should always keep in mind that these things cost a lot of money and that you can make wrong decisions. So better be careful than sorry. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It would help me a great deal. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see more videos about perfumes or about uh, hairstyling videos, hairstyling products, beard care products, or anything grooming and styling related, then you are very welcome to subscribe. And if you subscribe, make sure to ring the bell to get notifications when I upload a video. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a great day and bye bye.